I think Tony Reyes is going to win. A couple of reasons. Reyes, three games under his belt, and Dilutes also never has won a tournament. So we'll see a new champion today. And here is Tony Reyes in the championship match. Has won three shootout rounds. And look at that first shot over amp, too much speed, ball to the right. Ball in the channel. Marshall, how does something like that happen? Well, he's been he's been waiting around a little bit and uh, just you want to try and get the ball over toward the channel, but Reyes over channels it and it's in there. He could still make a spare. If you have to do it, now is the perfect time. If he doesn't pick it up and it's going high, six pins, what a great break for Tommy DeLutz Jr. And the first time we take a look at Tommy DeLutz Jr. 18 300 career PBA games, has never won a PBA title, and has not bowled well self-admittedly on TV. Well, he's had his problems. First shot, light in the pocket, but carries all the pins. You know, the last rookie to win a title was 1996. C.K. Moore did that, so that's what Tony Reyes is trying to do. But Duluth's just trying to get his first title. And he's been such a good bowler for a number of years. The people out here, the guys on the tour, they expect him to win. San Antonio Spurs brought home their first title last night. Duluth's looking for the same thing. A lot of loft. And Duluth's with a strike. Quickly, Tony Reyes down by 24 after a couple of strikes by Duluth's and a, a six count in the first frame for Reyes. Reyes with a very good mental, mental attitude, forgetting about what happened in the first frame. He's not going to beat himself up about it. Back to business on lane 33 to cut it to 14 pins. Well, now the familiar style of Tony Reyes pushes the ball away in his second step. Very high backswing. Good solid knee bend. Tony Reyes. In the third, looking for his second strike. Got to stop. Boy, that ball held in the pocket. Very surprised. I was surprised. I don't know about Reyes. Tony Reyes, that high back swing. He's hoping that ball will stop. He thought it was going high, too. And now Deluxe. Tommy DeLutz Jr. picking up the first three. Very consistent all week long. That ball was very close. Precariously close to the one board. In fact, not close to it. It's on the one board right there, but it hooks back into the pocket. Tommy DeLutz, three in a row, 24 pin lead. DeLutz grew up in Jamaica, Queens, near St. John's University. Now lives in Flushing, a couple of miles from Shea Stadium. And Tommy, a huge... Mets fan and a good friend of John Burkett, pitcher for the Texas Rangers, who, by the way, Burkett, an excellent bowler himself, averaging about 220. I think the Lutz right now feels like this is his tournament. Got off to a very good start. If he has one problem, it's closing the deal toward the end of the game. So I'm sure he'd like to get as big a lead as he could possibly get, not let Reyes have any chance. Well, that lead stands at 34 right now. Here's Reyes, and now showing some of that form that he showed in the first three shootout events. And that lowers the lead for Dilutes to 24 pins over Reyes through four frames. Well, Tony Reyes can strike here on lane 33 and drop that deficit to 14 pins. Will Tommy Dilutes? Give him an opportunity by not striking after that. Wow, oh, and for Reyes, the six, seven, and ten. Reyes now staring at his second open frame 
of this championship match. Hard and straight, he's given it a chance. Just cuts it a little thin. And Reyes cannot convert. Well, coming up next Saturday, NASCAR and CBS roars into primetime with a Pepsi 400. It'll be Daytona at the speed of light as Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt, Dale Jarrett, and many more heat up the night at the World Center of Speed. Pre-race coverage begins at 5 p.m. Eastern, followed by live flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the race at 8 p.m. Forty-one pin lead. Is it fifty-one? It stays there at forty-one. Messenger tried to get back there and knock out the ten pin, but didn't happen. Reyes may be thinking, "Well, I still have a little bit of life." And Deluts, you see his performance throughout the week here at Cal Bowl in Lakewood, and came on strong towards the end, and then pretty much was untouchable. Look at and that! Missed it. Boy, I'm telling you, that's it. You know, it's been his M.O. In, ch in championship matches and toward the end of tournaments to self-destruct a little bit. Ball simply falls off into the channel. It's an open frame. It goes from a 40-pin lead to 28. Tony Reyes really back in the match. And especially, it's got to work on Deluxe's mind. He really had a chance to put a few nails in. Well, he goes light.